Hey, what's up guys? Devin here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how to wirelessly share files between your Windows PC and your Android phone using the newly released Nearby Share for Windows PC. All right, let's get into it. Now, Nearby Share is a way of wirelessly transferring data between devices. This has mostly been between Android phones or between Chromebooks and Android phones. But Google has brought this feature to Windows PCs as well. All right, so let's see how it works. All right, the first thing that you want to do is to download the nearby share for Windows. Currently, it is in beta, and you can download it from the Android webpage. I'll share the link in the description below. And once you've downloaded it, just install it on your Windows PC right there. Okay, and once it has installed, come to the system tray and just click on the nearby share icon right there. Usually, the app just starts by itself. Okay. All right, and there you go. Now, first things first, make sure that both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled. As you already know, Nearby Share uses wireless connectivity to share files between devices. So primarily it will use Wi-Fi, but it can also use the slower Bluetooth as and when that is appropriate. All right, so just simply tap on the Bluetooth icon right there on the system tray and just make sure that it's enabled. Okay, and for the Wi-Fi, do the same thing. Tap on the Wi-Fi icon and then make sure that the Wi-Fi that your PC is connected to is the same Wi-Fi that your Android phone is connected to. All right, the next thing that you want to enable is nearby sharing on your Windows PC. And you can do that by going to System and then Nearby Share. And then from here, you can choose between my devices only or everyone nearby. So I tend to choose everyone nearby here. Okay. All right. The next thing that you want to do is to enable nearby share on your Android phone to transfer files from your PC to Android phone. Now, Android phones are very many and have different skins and themes. But on my OnePlus 9, I can enable nearby share by going to settings and then Google and then devices and sharing and then nearby share and I can toggle it on. All right, this is the nearby share application here. As you can see, it's ready to receive, but you can also send files to devices by simply dragging and dropping or you can choose to select files or specific folders. Okay, so I'm just going to select a file here and from my file explorer, I'm just going to go to downloads and then select this dog here, okay? And right there, my Windows PC is looking for nearby devices and if nearby share is enabled on your Android phone, it should show up here as it does for me. So on my Android phone, I'm going to receive a prompt that nearby share is sharing. So just simply tap on it right there, okay? says ready to receive and the file from my windows pc is now downloaded on my phone right here so i can just tap on view and it will open on my phone's gallery or you can also go to the downloads folder using your file manager of your phone all right now let me show you how to share from your phone to the windows pc so use your file manager here or maybe a gallery or wherever your file is located i have this little mouse here so tap on it and then tap on the share icon here okay you should be able to see share via nearby share right there so tap on that and now your windows pc should be able to show up as one of the devices in the vicinity as you can see the windows here is showing up so tap on your windows pc right there and then transfer initiates okay it should take really a few minutes depending on the size of your file all right so on your windows pc on the nearby share app here you should be able to see the file which has been downloaded to your pc you can simply open it or you can go to downloads using the file explorer all right now a few settings that you can tweak on this nearby share app First, you can choose how you can receive files. You can choose between receiving from everyone or from your contacts or from your devices. And you can also choose to hide your device. Okay. 
So yeah, if you're working with Workmate, maybe you can choose from your contacts or from everyone. And then also you can choose where files that are received on your PC are saved on your computer. By default, it saves to downloads, but you can choose the location. You can also choose to rename your Windows PC right there. All right, that's it. Nearby Share is still in beta at this point. So expect some bugs and errors. Otherwise, this feature is similar to Apple's AirDrop, which allows users to share files between their iOS devices and Macs. Now, AirDrop is really one of my favorite features on the Mac, and it works really flawlessly. So I hope Google works with Microsoft to give Windows and Android users the same experience as Apple's AirDrop. All right, guys, that's how you can share files easily between Android and Windows PC. You can also try out snapdrop.net, which is an app that uses web browsers to transfer files between devices running virtually any operating system. To me, this app is really universal and you can use it literally on any device that has a web browser. I did a video on how to use it and I'll link it in this video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you got value from watching this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.